Hello everyone, welcome to Vixterot Guidance. Welcome all of you that are new and all of you returning today to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't yet. And if any of you are interested in booking a personal tarot reading with me, all the links and everything is available down below, as well as the opportunity to connect to 18 plus pick a card readings if any of you want to through Patreon. So in today's reading, we're going to be checking into what your person's current feelings about you so we're going to see what's going on with them. What have they been feeling most recently about you, about your relationship? And of course, we're opening it up to see if anything else wants to come through as well. Any additional messages or insights. So we have group number one here with the devil card showing up today. So the devil card, Capricorn energy, if any of you resonate with that for you, group number one. Then group number two, we have the Knight of Cups showing up for you. Group number two here, the Knight of Cups does portray water signs. So the energies of um, Cancer, Scorpio and uh, Pisces showing up here for you group number two and group number three you have the two of coins or the two of pentacles some more of an earth energy showing up for you taurus virgo and capricorn energy for you if any of you can resonate with signs overall as always follow your intuition when picking your groups, you can pick more than one group or pick for more than one person if you feel drawn to doing that. Pause the video at this time if you want to take a little bit more time and I'll see you all in your chosen groups. Hello, group number one. Welcome. So you picked the devil as your card for today. So this is going to be a reading on your person's current feelings towards you with the devil. This person is um, currently in more of an egoic state of mind when it comes to you. Um, some getting obsession, a lot of obsession here. Also a sense of wanting to possess you, wanting to make you theirs or wanting you to be theirs. Your person here feels like they want to like impact you with their own thoughts, with their own idea of how things should be, how they want things to be. Um, so they have like this certain idea here of almost like playing God is what I'm getting with the devil first and foremost. I do want to get more cards out for you guys just to see how the energies like play out here. Okay, so we have the death card. Your person is going through a certain transformation right now. A transformation of how they're viewing this relationship mostly. So let's see what else. Um, the two of wands is showing up for you. Let's see what else. So they want to create something different with you is what I'm seeing here. There's a lot of like intimacy that this person is feeling right now as well. The two of cups. Just move this over here a bit. So that we have enough space. Let's see what else wants to show up here. So what are they currently feeling? There's a sense of like conflict here. I'm hearing inner conflict. This can also be an external conflict. Your person could be like feeling like they are in conflict with external forces or external or external circumstances right now. This could really like be adding on to the devil energy a lot. I'm just going to zoom you guys out a tiny little bit. So we have just enough space for all the cards to come through here. I'm getting like an overall sense of formality here as well. Like I feel like your person, I, I'm getting like they want to be formal. It's it's an interesting vibe. Like they want to forego the devil energy, but they're feeling it very intensely. And I feel like they are also a bit in conflict with the five of swords, like internally with their own devil energy. We're going to clarify that actually. So we're going to see what that's all about. So let's see what else wants to show up here. What are they currently feeling? They definitely feel like they're a bit of a mess right now. Let's see what else wants to show up. Okay, we have the Six of Cups. So there's a loving connection here. Your person definitely feels like, like a sense of nostalgia for you, like they miss you intensely. There's a feeling here of you guys being something more or 
having something more in the past, it's almost like this feeling like they've known you before. You feel very comfortable to this person. You feel like they already have like a certain bond with you, even if you don't know each other that well. There's just this overall feeling of, I know you, you feel safe to me, you feel comfortable. Yeah, they want to like share more with you. There's this overall energy with the Six of Cups here and with the Two of Cups, like they want to be more intimate. They want to share their emotions with you. They actually want to communicate their emotions. Here is what I'm getting as well. Like they want to open up more. Let's see. So we have the Queen of Coins showing up here. With the Queen of Coins, this person respects you a great deal. Um, they they really like value you and like hold you in very high regard with the Queen energies. Okay, so on the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands here as well. I'm just going to put it over here and we're actually going to use um, a different deck to clarify the energies. So the Queen of Wands is showing up here here let me just point it like that so you can like see the picture so yeah there's a great deal of respect here this person definitely thinks of you as a beautiful mature person let's see what else like i'm, I'm really curious about clarifying like the devil the death most of all so what's going on with this devil for them because there's this sense of like i want to possess you your mind that's showing up here, like a very ego-driven energy. And I do feel like with death here, your person is very aware of this as well. They are aware that they're having these thoughts. They're not like mindlessly just like wanting to grab you and possess you in a sense, you know. They they definitely are deeply aware of the thoughts that they're having. They might even be working towards creating like a sense of resolution here. But that's what I really want to clarify here. So clarifying the devil energy, please, spirit, for group number one's person here. Okay, so look, too many showing up, but this one stayed. Okay, so there's the nine of cups. Oh, so the devil, oh gosh, this is interesting. Like the devil is giving them a sense of fulfillment, actually. Like them feeling like you're theirs is giving them a sense of fulfillment. Them being so strongly in their ego right now is giving them an emotional state of fulfillment. Them playing with the, with the crab, let's say. Like the cat here playing with the crab. This person playing with fire is giving them a sense of fulfillment. That's so interesting. Okay, so let's, let's clarify that now. What's going on with this transformative vibe here? Again, too many cards showing up here, please. Let's okay this one so we have the two of swords so they're not sure which way to go they feel very blind they they feel like they can't fully in, introspect listen to their intuition right now okay we have the ten of pentacles here what else do we have we have the page of pentacles It could be that something in this person's personal life, in their physical, external, like communal life circumstances is shifting, is changing. Maybe something that was very stable up until this point is changing. There feels like there is a new path available to this person that they were not seeing before, that they were not made aware of before. And they're not sure like what to do about all of that. There's a sense here of this person like really enjoying the devil energy here. Like they really enjoy the, the I feel like the temptation, the lust, the attraction that they're experiencing towards you. It's like, it's like very fulfilling. It's, it's nourishing. Um, even if they're like experiencing anything like more, more heavy, you know, um they're they're really enjoying those those emotions those processes that are occurring within them they definitely feel like they're not resisting the flow of temptation the flow of lust this is very heavily lust but also like intimacy um here so you know this person's not just wanting you out of lust there is also a desire to have something more intimate here um to have like a deeper bond because they do feel a deeper bond with you here also 
but there is something here shifting for this person in terms of like their external circumstances with the ten of pentacles might might be like um just just term things relating to uh generational wealth or or inheritance even with the ten of pentacles um there might even be things shifting in terms of like their parents or yeah again like a sense of inter inheritance a sense of where they see themselves as part of the community as well um where they see themselves as part of family or certain other establishments could be shifting for them and they feel like they're finding new routes new manifestations they're maybe even aligning with different financial opportunities right now with this death card it could be that for some of you here if you work together with this person this person might want to like have a, a new project that they want to work on with you or want to invite you to work with them on a certain project but there's still like a feeling here of oh i don't have everything figured out yet with the two of swords energy there's a sense of indecision choices like a sense of stalemate and blocked emotions that they are experiencing so in terms of this transformation, whatever it is, whatever is happening here, this person is experiencing a sense of blocked emotions around that. So with the two of wand energies here, this person really wants to like include everybody in the process with the two of wands kind of like clashing like that, you know, I want to include everybody in this process in a way of like we are coming together here to form a decision um, and to plan for the future in a way that like impacts everybody in a positive way. So there's this sense of coming together to form a decision to create progress in a way that benefits everybody to kind of make this an, an integrational process for everyone, you know, so that everyone benefits so that there is a win-win situation. That's basically what they want to create here with the wand energies, with the two of wands. And let's clarify the two of cups actually there. We have the star. So with the star, there's this sense of hoping for the future. The star is also all about healing. So connecting to the higher realms, connecting to the lower realms and kind of making yourself a bridge between the two. This, the, the intimacy between the two of you on whatever level this is showing up, um, it is creating healing for this person. Again, this healing, it can also be very subtle it can be something that's just showing up very subtly from the higher realms towards them and is kind of impacting them in their own living situations right now. It definitely feels like, like this energy, whatever is happening between the two of you, the mutual respect, the admiration, um, the connection, the love, the partnership, the attraction within your relationship, whatever this is, it's creating healing, it's resolving deep-seated traumas. For this person, I, I do feel like it's resolving some deep-seated traumas for you here as well with the star showing up here. There's a sense of hopefulness for the future, a sense of being hopeful, like to have some type of connection, some type of intimacy here in the future, um, but also like not pushing for it. There's this sense of acceptance with the star, a sense, a sense of I have this healing to do or I have this work to do. Um, or that work that's just kind of being done to them. Um, so yeah, but to the start, this is more like a, I wouldn't say like passive card, but it's more like a card of here I am right now and a sense of like looking forward to see what's going on in the future and just receiving blessings that are available at this time. So what about the Five of Swords card, please, Barrett? Yeah, with the Five of Swords, we have the Five of Wands. Yeah, so this like internal conflict. Yeah, like this person, I feel like they're not, they're not like sure what they want to be the outcome. They're not sure where they're actually standing in this connection right now. They might be just very confused by their own like thoughts, by their own emotions, by their own like intentions even you know by everything that's going on in the external world even like there's a sense of confusion there's a sense of chaos here there's a sense of them experiencing disagreement a sense of even competition tension or conflict um they might feeling a lot of strife or like the feeling like they need to strive towards something to achieve something 
like they would need to maybe become involved in a conflict with someone else in the external world uh, or with more people in the external world in order to achieve something here um, or in order to get something here. I'm hearing, is it worth it? Question mark. So they might be asking themselves, is this worth it? Is the conflict or them involving themselves into some type of disagreement worth the outcome or worth the, what they would end up receiving? Um, there's a sense of, again, like conflict, tension, that they're feeling a sense of loss here, a sense of defeat, but not wanting to accept defeat. Um, there's also a sense of like them considering whether or not they want to win at all costs, you know. Again, like moving back to this kind of ego energy with the devil, right? So the devil carries a strong, strong ego energy. Um, a sense of this is this is for me, this is mine. I don't want to consider other people, even though like they them here, they are considering other people here in terms of the decision that they're making. But I feel like the devil coming in here is also like them being tempted, this person being heavily tempted to not consider other people at all and only to work from their own best interests at this time. So that's what they're tempted towards. I feel like they're not going to end up choosing this, this outcome or this um, action, this decision to just win at all costs and just consider themselves, their own ego and what they want without regard for anyone, anybody else. Um, yeah. So definitely you make this person feel good. I do want to clarify these as well, but first of all, I just want to mention these two again because I just got a message that you make this person feel very, very good when they think about you, when they fantasize about you, make them feel very good physically, emotionally, energetically as well. Like you, you just feel very good to them and um, they they would kind of love to just explore this. Um, there's this sense again of I don't want to face consequences like that. That's more of an immature energy showing up from the devil. That's again like part of their process here. Um, like this more of an immature approach. Like I don't want any consequences, you know, of my actions. I, I just kind of want to be fulfilled. But yeah, you're making them very emotionally fulfilled. You, you definitely feel like your their dreams come true here. So what else? The three cards. Let's clarify the six of cups there. And then also like clarifying the queens. Okay. Too many cards flew out. We're just wanting one card. The six of cups, please. Clarifying. Thank you. We have the knight of wands. This person wants to move towards feeling good with you. Um, they want to move towards exploring this this feeling of nostalgia this feeling of like feeling a sense of like almost like home with you as well like they want to explore this energy definitely with the knight of wands um showing up you know they they feel a lot of passion towards this relationship on whatever level it is here present but yeah there's definitely nostalgia here if it's not you know a nostalgia from the current physical reality is nostalgia from the past lives or the past energies where your soul's threads were like intertwined together with each other so the nostalgia is coming from that place if it you know is not coming from the physical manifestation or from physical memories that you have with this person or physical encounters that you have with this person so yeah they they want to move towards this they want to explore this there's this feeling of passion uh like almost like a gunk ho oh, let's go for it whatever the cost type of vibe um there's a sense of wanting to put a lot of energy into a beautiful give and take between the two of you here as well um this person wants to like put in a lot of passion here um they want to like put in action put in passion they're they're again feeling a lot of passion a lot of lust mirroring the devil a bit here they want adventure and i feel like this person does have a tendency to be a little bit impulsive so they are feeling a bit impulsive right now they might end up making some decisions that are a bit impulsive um towards you you know or towards this this nostalgic feeling that they're having um let's clarify the queens let's clarify the queens please for it 
clarifying the queens in regards to their current feelings what are they feeling here okay so again a lot of cards showing up the two of wands energy like what do i do again the two of wands future planning they feel like they need to consider everybody again like they need to consider themselves but also how this is impacting other people yeah this person wants to like see where the vibes go for them for some of you like this could involve two different people here as well because we have like two queens that could involve two females um they could be deciding between um or choosing between even yeah like there could be a third party for some of you or you could be the third party in this person's life um or someone else who's like tempting them out of the current established connection even here yeah so, so that's kind of interesting um yeah anything else here spirit they want progress this person wants to make a wise decision um they're thinking about traveling so there's some type of travel on their mind here as well but overall they want to look at their life from more of an observer perspective which they currently are really like struggling with being into but that's kind of the vibe that they're going for they want to like step back a bit and look at the situation from the third person perspective um and yeah like they, they also like feel a sense of pressure about making the quote-unquote right choices Hmm. we have the ten of swords on the bottom here so i do feel like your person is going through some type of major change um major end of a cycle um like a thought pattern like a pattern that they were involved in or involved with connected with for a really long time there's a sense here of things being made right again so like you know karma being cleared even um for some of you from the past all right so anything else i want to like take cards that are not <laughs> they're not tarot cards actually so the, what i just got was the sense of curiosity well, i'm curious about you who are you as a person like i i just sensed into someone very curiously looking at each other like you know in a sense of what I want to investigate you, I want to know more about you, like that very inquisitory glance um, type of energy. I got that just now. So I feel like your person is interested in this. They are um, feeling curious. They want to explore. They want to know more about like what's going on here in your relationship. Um, yeah. So what else? And they want to approach things in a mature way. Like this person really they they want to be mature here they want to be wise you know they they don't want to just be hasty even though that hastiness is very much what they are feeling it's not what they are wanting to be the outcome of their actions right so let's see what else wants to show up here you guys so we have children or family like there could be family or families impacted here or involved in this we also have mature man older male mature in age you could be a mature person or there could be like you know a lack of um lack of like age alignment between the two of you um you know one of you could be older than the other that could really like play a part in this connection we also have families maybe you are married maybe your person is having a family maybe you have a family um that is like impacting their decision here um this is also a message of you guys being a soul family so you do have a soul bond with this person which is why there is such a strong pull that you feel to each other and this is like this this kind of inquisitive glance that i actually felt into before as well like you I'm I'm curious about you, like who are you? You know, that type of vibe here. Um, like this this almost like flirty, inquisitive, like who are you? What are you doing here? type of vibe. Um, I definitely got that. So yeah, there could be family involved here. Uh just take that if it resonates for your own specific situation with this uh, person. 
Um, yeah. So this is a mature man or someone mature for their age that is like involved in all of this. If you are resonating with someone who is mature or someone who is a mature man, it, it's just like a reminder that this reading is for you. Right. Um, so let's see what else. Oops. We have brunette female here as well. Darker hair, intense focus. So this is again like a reminder that if any of you resonate with being this type of person, uh, or having these physical features, you know, it's just a reminder or just like a confirmation that this reading is for you. Um, yeah, this is an intense connection. They, this person definitely feels like you're a very intense person, even if you might not seem like it. Um, they kind of, kind of like can intuitively feel you, you know, on a deeper level than just the surface level. And yeah, this is an intense relationship for them. This person is currently quite focused on you or they're spending a lot of time thinking about you as well. Let's get one more card. And we have courting man, uniform professional, male. There's a sense or a need here to be professional. Um, you might work together. Or there's just an area of work involved in all of this. There's with courting, there's also a question like, oh, I want to court this person, question mark. So I feel like that's maybe a decision or like a thing, an idea your person might be playing with. <sighs> yeah, but there's also like a sense of professionalism playing into all of this, a sense of formality. I felt like, I felt that for you guys, like in the beginning of the reading, a sense of formality within the relationship or like a formal approach is required in a sense. Um, yeah. But, but like with both of these, you guys could mirror each other a lot with the hand gestures and all that. You could also like be mirroring each other um, energetically, emotionally, in, in your physical gestures, etc. Um, I do feel like you're both curious about each other. There's a sense of, ooh, who are you? What are you doing here? You know, like I want to explore more about this from both of you. Because you guys are here as well. Like, obviously, you're here. Obviously, you've listened to this reading up until this point. So you are definitely curious here. Uh, we also have a young male, sporty cars, youthful. So there could also be someone youthful involved in this. If you don't resonate with this person being older, uh, you could also resonate with this person being younger. Or again, like, there's there's like um, an aspect here of youth slash maturity. Um involved in your relationship again like an age gap potentially or even a status difference or status playing a part in this connection family playing a part in this connection um yeah it's it's like th this is almost like words colliding type of vibe here like everything is kind of coming into all of this all kinds of really strong energies you know such as energy of family energy of maturity energy of youth um energy of formality energy of status energy of society and the norms kind of coming in you know all of these are like very strong very intense archetypal energies that are playing into this relationship so i i definitely feel for you guys like this is a transformative connection um yeah or something that's like really you know going to teach you a lot I want anything else here. I kind of want something else. Let's take the um, Archangel Animal cards and just get you guys like some guidance here. Just a tiny little bit of guidance for group number one. Okay, so we have the horse. Allow yourself to be free as your energy. Care for others and let them be free. So allow yourself to be free, but also like care for others and let them be free, but also allow yourself the freedom um don't don't stay stuck just because you feel like you should um and also like work hard on things consider other people you being free does not mean to not consider other people it's it's like you know they both come hand in hand you need to allow your freedom yet at the same time care for other people and care for other people's well-being within a community in which you're living in um we have a message spread heart healing with joy. The B energy comes with message of community, a message of coherence, cohesion, um, doing things for the benefit of everybody, including yourself, 
right? So it's about stepping out of this ego-driven society or an ego-driven way of thinking to be able to hold other perspectives as well as your own and act in alignment with your own idea of what's best for you, but also what's best for other people. Um, and we have the bath here, seeing through illusion onto truth. There could be some illusions here, so be mindful of that. Again, like if there have been any signs, any synchronicities, any dreams, um, like try to see through that in some way, um, like try to maybe meditate, find a way to just separate yourself a little bit from the energetic intensity of this connection. You know, the bat is a very, very good teacher when it comes to shadow work as well, or like seeing in the dark, seeing in a different way in the dark. That means like seeing seeing your shadow side differently or seeing what your shadow is bringing up for you in a different way, illuminating the shadow. And, you know, not not immediately reacting. The bat is also like carrying the message here of non-reactivity to what you are thinking, feeling, dreaming of either consciously or unconsciously, okay? So be mindful of what is showing up for you to try to take a step back and look at the bigger picture right now and also like try to work in alignment with what is best for others as well as what is best for yourself and the community, whatever the community means for you. It can be like a larger view of community and this more humanistic approach to, to humanity overall or it can this, or this can also just be, you know, your own little community, your own little family um, and seeing that as a community and working you know, in alignment with what is best for them. Okay, so thank you for tuning in. I hope this helps and gives you some more understanding, clarity about all of this going on <laughs> that's that's like happening for you guys. Um, so yeah, in terms of signs, if any of you just want like additional confirmation, we do have Capricorn energy, Scorpio energy with the death card. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. We also have... Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus over here is showing up. Is there anything else here? Um, again, Pentacle, Aquarius energies. And yeah, that's basically it for the reading. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing your energies with me. Um, if any of you want to dive deeper or want like a reading of your own personal situation, your own personal energy, you can contact me through my email or check out my Etsy shop. The link is down below. If any of you are interested in like exploring deeper, like the more 18 plus spicy, saucy readings, especially like with the devil and all the lust happening here, you can check out the Patreon community. The link to my Patreon is down below. I post 18 plus pick a card readings and tarot readings over there that are like too much, too intense for YouTube. So if you're interested, sign up. We have over 60 videos over there already available on these types of topics. So you have a lot to choose from, a lot to vibe with if you resonate with that or want to explore that area. So thank you so much for tuning in. All my love and blessings to all of you. Hope this helps. Let me know in the comment section down below how it was for you. If you feel like you want to share and yeah, thank you so much for supporting this channel through liking and subscribing as well. All my love and blessings and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye. Namaste. Hello, group number two. Welcome to your reading. So you have picked the Knight of Cups for today as your card. So let's get into this and see what wants to show up here. So. Of course, here, the first energy that we're getting with the Knight of Cups is like your person wanting to show off for you. Um, like, what are their current feelings? They, they want to be seen as, as this amazing, sexy, beautiful, attractive person. Um, they're definitely like peacocking a lot towards you right now. You know, they're like wanting you to see them like this and that. And look at me, like look at my muscles or look at my new phone or look at my new computer, or look at my car. You know, they kind of want to strut their stuff at you. 
um, uh, they're, they're showing you their pretty little feathers as a masculine little bird and performing this dance for you, you know, like, notice me, look at me, look how awesome I'm, I am, look at how beautiful I am, like, yay, look at me, you know, like, they're very much involved in all of that, they really want you to notice them, see them, they want you to fall in love with them, or they want you to just, like, really, you know, be infatuated with them, is the energy that I'm picking up here, um, like this person wants to like make you fall in love with them. They feel very romantic. They want to pursue you or they are already in pursuit of you here. So let's see what else we get. We have the four of coins showing up the four of pentacles. So there is something here. Your person is kind of keeping hush hush to themselves. Um, keeping things a little bit hidden, a little bit silent. We have the seven of coins showing up here also we have the chariot card showing up here and oh we have the two of whoops the two of swords showing up here as well i'm just going to zoom you guys out a little bit so they just have enough space to put all the cards i want to put out here okay Okay, so there's a sense of wanting to take action, a sense of being maybe a bit careful. Carefulness is the right word here. We have the Four of Wands here as well. And one more card. How are they currently feeling? For group number two, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so there is some worry here. There's some anxiety here. Your person's feeling... They feel like they might have to let go of something with the Eight of Cups. Here on the bottom of the deck, there's a feeling of needing to let go of something in order to... In order to create like more of a tangible connection. <clears throat> they need to let go of some type of mental pattern, some type of mental triggers. Um, yeah. And that's what I'm tapping into here. So there's some worry, there's some anxiety maybe about the longevity or the tangibility, the strength of your connection, the groundedness of your relationship here with the Four of Wands. With the Eight of Cups, there's this feeling of needing to let some things go, needing to let some mental patterns, some ways of thinking go in order to be able to proceed, in order to be able to like leave or yeah, just let go of these um, Nine of Swords types of energies, you know, which with worry, with thinking, with potential overthinking as well. Like this person, you know, um, they could be feeling a lot of worry, a lot of dread, um, a lot of overwhelm right now about you. I feel like there's a lot of like, should I do something? Shouldn't I do something type of energy here? Because there's like a feeling here of them wanting to take action. Then there's a feeling here of indecision. This is also the Knight of Cups. It's also a very strong action taking card. And then we have like this followed up with the four of coins, with the seven of coins, which is more like an energy of, okay, should I stay put a little bit and see what happens next? You know, should I prepare myself or something? Um, like there's this energy of taking stock of what is already present in order to then move in the future with patience, with slowness, with planning, with these two. And this one's like, okay, taking action. This one's like, okay, I need to make a decision. This one is like, yeah, it's it's like very much like in this wave energy where this like, yes, taking action, no, not taking action, you know, and then there's yes, taking action, no, not taking action. This is also like more of a yay, this relationship and there is like, oh my gosh, all the dread and worry about this connection and overwhelm that I'm feeling right now. So I feel like your person is heavily oscillating between the energies of, oh, I should do something, oh, I shouldn't do anything, oh, I should do something, oh, I shouldn't do anything, you know. I'm kind of moving back and forth with these very, very quickly and very, very intensely, right? So this person definitely wants to show up for you as someone who is one, charming, two, um, handsome or beautiful like Gaston, strong, amazing, someone who can take care of you, someone who is like this macho man or this beautiful feminine woman that can take care of you, that can love you, that can give you everything you desire. This person wants to show themselves to you right now as the ideal suitor, ready to sweep you off your feet. So it is time to kind of strike up the band and celebrate is the kind of energy here. 
um, they are definitely longing for you very strongly and they want to follow their heart here. Now with the four of coins following up on that, there's this feeling of, oh, okay, I need to like reveal something there, you know? So the four of coins does represent happiness and stability and kind of keeping things a little bit closed off. So maybe your person doesn't fully want to share everything that's on their mind, but maybe like a little bit. They want to court you. They want to be this ideal suitor, but kind of keep some some of their more intimate or more private thoughts, feelings to themselves. There's a sense of privacy here that's showing up with the Four of Coins. So the Four of Coins does represent this person feeling a sense of stability at home and professionally right now. And they do kind of feel like things are slowly coming together but they're also like a little bit dissatisfied with the sense of slowness they do want to focus on building like a solid foundation um that will set the two of you up for like long-term success here with the four of coins with the four of wands there's this like heavy focus on that type of energy to create solid foundations here with the seven of coins here then we have this energy of this person experiencing um, like planning, feelings of wanting to plan and planning. Um, they feel like they have a long path ahead of them and are working hard to set themselves up for success, right? Um, they definitely feel like they need to make decisions with the long-term potentials of the two of you and of your connection in mind. They feel like they want to align with want to be aligned with careful planning um, now that will lead to big rewards in the future. So that's why I feel like there's maybe this oscillation here between I want to take action now and like a sense of indecision about that because they definitely want to take action that will lead to rewards and like long-term progress and long-term fulfillment. And they're not sure if like more more of like a reckless approach is actually going to manifest that for them and so yeah there's a sense of indecision around that so chariot energy chariot overall does represent determination unrelenting focus and willpower um yeah so this person is like heavily in pursuit of their goal um, they feel like obstacles don't matter, like they can bulldoze through obstacles. The obstacles in their path won't face them now. They're in very strong, like very intense pursuit of their goals and nothing will stand in their way for a long time. They are not letting themselves get distracted right now. Um, and they definitely feel like what they want feels a little bit out of reach currently. Um... Yeah, but also like this person is putting their pedal down to the metal and um, will give like everything that they can to, to just boost out success to come out on top to, to really like show up powerfully um, for you, for other people, um, if other people are involved, of course. But yeah, like their, their focus is very intense. Their focus is heavily on you. But there's also like here with these two, a sense of anxiety here. So they might be in some type of confusing conundrum here. We're going to see what this is potentially about with the two of swords here. So there's a certain decision this person feels like they need to make, but they're having trouble making up their mind. Um, They're making sure, trying to make sure that they have all the facts before them in front of them before making this decision so let's just see what this like conundrum is all about what's this decision making all about here so yeah it's about how to how to go towards this long-term fulfillment long-term success with the seven of coins the seven of pentacles energy like i feel like they are having some confusing thoughts about how to actually manifest long-term success here and what type of actions what type of decisions are actually going to bring that about for them? Let's clarify this some more. Um, yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So they like want to ground this relationship. This person wants to have a grounded, steady, long-term relationship here with you, the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, they're, they're trying to decide what is best here to do. They might be deciding 
between two different ways of approaching or two different ways of how to handle this situation between the two of you right now in order to like create this idea, this romantic ideal, or like for them to show you that they're this partner, this romantic um, partner for you and that they're right for you. You know, there's that type of feeling like, how do I, how do I manage this? You know, with this energy, there's like a sense of inquisitory type of, yeah, relation here, you know, um, there's an inquisitory energy here. Um, yeah, from them, like, how do I approach this? What do I do? You know, do I take this action? Do I take that action? What, what about these two is better? What about this is best? So yeah, that, that's kind of the conundrum that they're facing right now. So let's see what else. So with the four of wands, of course, being here, this represents like a gathering this person wants to have. They want to celebrate your connection. Um, this card is a positive sign that they want the relationship to be stable, solid, happy, secure, you know, like also with the Queen of Pentacles showing up here, there's a strong focus here on safety, security, and positivity and maintaining that within the connection. Again, there's a feeling here of needing to let some things go here. So, yeah, um, they're afraid what what they need to let go of is like a sense of fear that it's not going to be as they imagine it to be. With the Eight of Cups here, there's a sense of feeling like, oh, this is maybe not going to be as fulfilling as I'm expecting it to be, you know, or what if it's not the way that I want it to be? What if it doesn't work out the way that I want it to be? So in alignment with the Nine of Swords, there's a, there's a type of dread around this. Um, they feel like they worked hard for maybe some stability within your connection, um, but they're still kind of not satisfied about where it's at right now. Um, so they're thinking hard about what they really want, you know, what they really want, how their actions towards you are also like ultimately going to impact this connection in the future. So let's just go through and like quickly clarify the cards here as well and let's let's get into, into some more oracles so clarifying the knight of cups the four of swords so yeah they're i'm basically thinking reflecting on uh how they want to show up for you with the knight of cups you know how do they want to pursue you how do they want to like romanticize you how do they want to charm you here they're reflecting on that thinking about that the four of coins, please, spirit. Okay, too many. So with the page of swords showing up, there's this feeling of just like, what do I share and what do I not share? This this energy is connected to this inquisitory energy with the four of swords. It's just about this person reflecting on what do they not want to share and what do they want to share? It's again, this two of pentacles energy kind of like, okay, this or that, this or that. How much of themselves do they want to bring up in your next encounters? For example, how much do they want to show you that they care, that they have feelings for, you know, how much do they want to strut themselves out for you and kind of like, you know, puff out their chest at you, you know, like how much do they want to do that? Reflecting on that and also how much do they want to share about themselves more intimately, you know, how much do they want to talk about these more deeper, more more solid ideas um, and wishes and, you know, plans that they have in their mind. This for seven of coins, please. Justice. Yeah, they want to do things in a way that is correct for everyone involved. This person wants to take the actions in a way that is in alignment with everyone involved. They want to see the truth of the situation fully before they do take action. So they might be like here waiting for, for something to also happen with the two of pentacles, with the seven of pentacles, like waiting for certain situations to bear fruit for them to be more, be more in a place of like clarity about what is actually happening and what is actually coming about. 
between the two of you and involving other people here as well with this justice card this person wants to take the right course of action um yeah they want to take the right course of action so what else with chariot So with, with Chariot, we have the Five of Wands. There's some type of like internal conflict here. Yeah, they, they might be, again, like not sure which direction is best. So the energies of the Two of Pentacles, you know, this feeling of not being sure which direction is best to take, this is impacting their ability to drive the car, so to speak, in a direct and steady way. Because the energy is a little bit messy and they don't have a clear sense of direction because they're not yet sure, like, how much do they want to share? How do they want to show up? How do they want to court you? How do they want to show up as this ideal suitor? You know, there's like a lack of clarity around that. And because of that, the chariot, the coming forward towards you and this determined obstacles be damned type of way is being impacted heavily, you know, like, all that all this person's like indecision or like lack of clarity or not being sure what exactly is the right decision and right outcome is impacting their ability to just bulldoze through or to work through to push through to take action so let's see to drive the card in like a steady straightforward way and to go from point a to point b you know point a being where there are and point b being success so um, that's basically the confusion there. It's like impacted by other energy, it's energies. So let's see. Let's just kind of quickly put a card over on these now as well. The Fool, they want a new beginning. They want to just like go for it. They definitely feel like very spontaneous, very happy with you. They are maybe a little bit afraid that taking some hasty actions might lead to results that are not welcome or results that are going to result in them like being maybe hit back so yeah they want to follow their gut though this person wants to follow their gut and they're they're still like a little bit afraid to follow their gut because they don't fully trust their intuition they don't fully trust their gut here so they're not sure like whether following their gut is going to actually lead to a correct result which is again this energy the balancing out considering things and it's impacting this energy with the chariot you know not being sure where exactly do i steer the wheel now so yeah so yeah it's all kind of like coming together here but overall this is very very solid the knight of um cups energy for you is very solid this person does want to trust their intuition so that's again very very solid here they want to communicate they want to share more with you they do have long-term stable plans in their mind for you as well so that is solid even if like right now their decision making isn't as solid or their idea what is the best decision isn't it solid so what I'm hearing from spirit is that your person is putting a ton of pressure on themselves right now as well as a result of this so let's see what else wants to show up so we have gifts they want to maybe like give you a gift or offer you some type of gift come to you with a gift we have surprises presents openings there might be a gift in store for you and for this connection also coming very very soon let's see what else we have career so we have business success and advancement so career and career opportunities could be in some way shape or form be impacting your connection right now or so if some of you might be uh, working together might be an, an employee employer situation there might be some business or success or advancement that is impacting this connection at this time there's also a ton of passion existing between the two of you right now there's a ton of chemistry and passionate feelings existing between the two of you and especially from your person they feel a ton of passion a ton of chemistry towards you or with you you know they feel a strong attraction to you um and they want to communicate with you this person does want to reach out to you they want to connect with you they want to talk to you they want to text call you or like connect you online connect you maybe through some of your social media 
and they want to have a fun time with you. They want to enjoy themselves with you. You know, they want to maybe invite you to a party, to an event. They just, they just want to have fun. You know, they just want to, you know, like approach this in this relationship in a fun way. They don't want to like make things stale or difficult, even though like from the energy that we've read here, it might seem like that this person has no intention to make things like weird or difficult between the two of you. They definitely want to have more fun and um, just enjoy themselves, you know, and enjoy your conversations and enjoy you and your energy and your presence. And they want you to enjoy them and their presence and their ideas as well. Um, we also do have work here, profession, college, workplace. So you guys could come together through work or you could be connected through work here, um, like work in some way is impacting this connection or is being even impacted by this connection. We have destiny here. So this connection, it is aligned. It's meant to be. Um, this is like chance, not, not a chance encounter, but this is very much like a connection of destiny here between the two of you. So yeah, um, this is definitely meant to be. There's something more here, you know, that you, you got to build with each other, that you learn or are learning from each other right now. More than just our relationship, you know, more than just having something external or something that's fulfilling the two of you. It is also like impacting other people very intensely in your lives, whether it's just like the vibration of joy that the two of you share. It is kind of like rippling out into other people as well. Okay, so we're going to get you now some guidance for this relationship. Group number two, before we get into that, I just want to call out some um, zodiac signs that are showing up here. So we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energies. We have Cancer energies here. We have Taurus. Um, we have, oh my gosh, why do I feel like jumping around? So we have Taurus, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, also Capricorn, Virgo showing up here. Libra again over here for you guys. All right. So those are the zodiac signs that wanted to be shared. Um, just take that as additional confirmation if you want to. Um, yeah. So we have the dove as your guidance, spread messages of peace and harmony. So yeah, you are invited to just approach this relationship in a loving, calm, gentle, soft way right now. And we have the rat. Be true to yourself and the universe will reward you. So the universe is inviting you to consider what is your desire, what is your need here, what is coming from your own internal guidance system right now how are you feeling about this person right now on an intuitive level on a deeply intuitive level what feels right for you to do right now concerning this person concerning this relationship on a deeply deeply intuitive level without you know just feeling them because i do feel like you guys are very intuitive very empathetic very compassionate and you are going to feel this person very very intensely um yeah, and that you feeling them very intensely, it could impact your decision making. So just be aware of that. Be aware of practicing boundaries and being true to what you want and taking action in alignment with that. Maybe reflecting a little bit on that. First of all, resting a bit, um, taking a time out, maybe go for a walk to just really reconnect with yourself about all of this. And we also have the butterfly energy showing up for you. Be ready to transform with wisdom. So whatever wisdom you encounter within yourself or by aligning with peace, harmony, um, purity, that's important here as well. Um, yeah, be true to that. Be true to just following those, those areas or those um, ideas right now, right? So... Yeah, with the butterfly energy overall, you are advised that it's time for profound transformation right now. And you, group number two, you are ready to emerge from your cocoon. Um, you do not need to rush this. And actually, you are advised not to rush this. 
you need a phase of relaxation and calm before you spread your wings. So use this period for a life review to help you decide what you want to change and remember that the process is inevitable. You will emerge as a different spiritual person through all of this, through you like taking time out for yourself as well. And you will see the world through eyes of expectation in a different way, you know, and you're just kind of, let's say, advised again by the butterfly spirit to see the world through um, new joy and lightness right now to stay in harmony and in peace. Yeah. And remember, you're a beloved child of the universe, of the cosmos, and that wondrous possibilities are becoming available to you, even if things might feel hard right now. You are and will be protected and supported as you explore the new, right? So remember that people will always sense your inner beauty and respond to you with love and happiness if you are aligned with that frequency. So thank you so much for tuning and for sharing your energy with me, group number two. Hope this gives you some more clarity and understanding as you move forward on this path. Um, if any of you want to connect to a personal tarot reading or want to engage with something more personally, you can send me an email. My email is down below or check out the Etsy shop for personal private tarot readings and messages. So it's all linked down below. If any of you are interested in um, 18 plus pick a card tarot reading or more of a sexy erotic reading, check out Patreon for that. The link to that is also down below. Thank you so much for tuning in, for sharing your energy, for liking, subscribing, supporting this channel and for commenting down below. I will see you all in the next reading. Hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of the day. Blessings to you all. Happy rest of the Sunday and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Blessings to you and all your loved ones. Bye. Namaste. Hello, group number three. <laughs> Almost called you group number two. Wow. Okay, welcome. Group number three. The two of coins card. All right. So what is your person currently feeling towards you? So there's a sense of like curiosity, inquisition. They, they want to investigate you. I want to figure you out is what I'm feeling here. This person is very like curious about you. They're finding you to be quite a mysterious person. So I feel like right now they're very much like, ooh, who's that person? What are they like? What do they like? What do they enjoy? Um, like, like, how can I become more connected to them possibly? Like, how can I get to know them better? How can I get more information about them? This person's kind of in like a Sherlock Holmes type of vibe here with the two of coins energy. So let's see what else wants to show up for you. I'm feeling like this naughty flirty energy in the reading. Like, I want to be a bit like saucy you know, a little bit spicy with you guys, you know, like I, I kind of want to tease you. It's that like a vibe that's showing up here, but like in a playful, loving way in a bit of a like a, yeah, sexy way as well. Like I want to tease you guys a bit. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here from them. And yeah, I feel like they definitely do want to tease you, want to play around, be playful, you know, in a very soft and tender way. Like they don't want to share anything or say, say things that would hurt you in any way, but just like they, they really want to be like playful and sexy and compliment you, you know, um, they, they just want to be on your good side right now. That's what they're feeling. You know, they, they're feeling very like sexy, dancey type of vibe. Um, yeah. Inquisitive as well. So let's see what else group number three, what are you feeling towards group number? No, group number three's person. What are you feeling towards group number three? Okay, we have the sun. We're not taking reversal. So we have the sun. Yeah, fulfillment, happiness. I'm crazy about you. Let's go partying. Let's go dancing together. Let's go out in the sun. Let's have fun. Like there's this like elation, fulfillment. Like let's let's explore stuff. Let's go and have a party. Let's be playful. You know, this person's all about like little banter. They're all about the energy being very high, very joyful, very happy between the two of you right now. They're feeling very elated right now as well. They're very excited about something potentially that might come 
through very quickly. Maybe you guys set a date about meeting or you're about to meet, you're about to see each other or you have just seen each other and there's like this great deal of fulfillment, great deal of happiness about that taking place. So we have the Page of Swords here also showing up for you. Let me just fix the candle a little bit because there's like a potential of this this like going out here and I'm going to just be making it worse. Okay, so, um, yeah, yeah, like this person's like, yeah, let's, let's go for it. Let's play with fire a little bit as well. Like they're all for that type of vibe. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Just made it dirty with wax. So Wheel of Fortune, also we have the Ace of Wands over here. Okay, yeah, they feel like there's some type of destiny here again. They feel like they want to explore this. They want to dig deeper. They are feeling like very inquisitive. Like, yeah, they, they just want to know what this is all about. Mm. They want to like explore their feelings deeper as well. You know, they want to allow themselves the opportunities to explore their feelings more deeper with you. They want to give themselves this like new enthusiasm, new vitality by involving themselves with you more. Um, there's this sense of like wanting a new new potential or something new to begin between the two of you here with the Ace of Swords, uh, Ace of Wands. Also like with the Ace of Swords energy that I kind of blabbed out, there's this feeling of fresh start, a fresh start fresh new communication or a communication at all, like starting up. We have the hanged man. <laughs> I, I can't. This one is so cute. Like, what is it? I, I, I just like, look at its face. I feel like that's your person. They're like, hi, I like you, grin. You know, <laughs> I feel like that's your person's energy here. Um, and that's not the usual high, hanged man energy. It's like, hey, I'm here. Hi, I like you. Grin, you know, like they're just grinning. They just like you. I feel like this person just feels so good around you. Just make them happy. Um, yeah, like, like I feel like with the hanged man, this person just kind of lets go of everything that's going on in their life with you. And they're just like, oh, I'm just here with them. I'm in the now. I'm in the present moment with group number three. And I'm happy and I'm good and I'm vibing and everything's everything is so perfect. Um, yeah, we have magician. So we have the magician. This person wants to like cultivate something more. Yeah, something better, something more. They need stuff to happen. They're focused on you. They want to manifest you into their lives here with the magician. Like they want to make it happen. Um, again, this feeling of feeling saucy, like very confident is all over the board with the seven of cups on the bottom of the deck this person feels like there are multiple opportunities available for the two of you like there are a lot of potentials available here you can do a lot of things together you can explore a lot of things together like i'm hearing the world is my oyster the world is our oyster so let's just go for it let's just explore what we can explore Okay, so that's kind of the overall vibe that I'm getting here for you guys, right? This person definitely feels like maybe they're managing their responsibilities right now and maybe it's tough for them to manage some responsibilities while still making time for the things and people and you that mean the most to them. They want to maintain like a healthy balance with things also. So yeah, they just might feel like they're maybe like having a lot of things on their plate also with the seven of cups and they may have struggles with prioritizing some things at this time overall with the sun you know this person feels happiest when they are with you um they are choosing in alignment with this and this that i just said they are choosing you to prioritize their own joy right now they're seeking clarity about this connection. So that's why there's like this huge um, like um, inquisitive energy here as well. They want clarity about you. But this card is overall just a very positive energy. They feel very optimistic about this connection. They feel very joyful about you. They feel playful. They want to banter. They want to play around. They want to tease you. They want things to be playful between the two of you. 
um, and lighthearted and they want your relationship to inspire you, inspire them, inspire other people as well. And just kind of be like a beacon of light, like a disco ball, you know, like you guys like making everyone happy. It's that that's the kind of vibe here. Like you guys just being like the center of attention, the center of the party, making everybody happy is the vibe here. Um, so it's the shining energy you want you want to kind of inspire everybody around you with. It's the vibe here that they have. Um, yeah. So so yeah, the, like this triumphant energy, happiness, unbridled joy energy, um, celebratory energy. You know, this person might want to celebrate you, celebrate the connection. Um, yeah, that's it. So they want to learn more about you, of course, with the Page of Swords. They are feeling curious, want to know more about you, want to explore um, new things. Um, they might be a little bit of a scheming person, like they want to be, they, they feel like they're maybe planning something, scheming, you know, like this person would like playfully maybe call it scheming. Um, yeah, they're not discouraged by any mistakes that they might have made in the past. So they're very much like going with the flow with everything that happened in the past here. And they're taking that as just opportunities for learning, opportunities for growth. And they, they definitely feel like here they're getting ready to pounce. They're getting ready to go. They're re getting ready to jump um, Yeah, on the next opportunity, on the next train that comes their way. Um, the next potential to connect to you more deeply that comes their way. They're ready to pounce on that and they're already grateful for that because they know it's coming real soon. So the Wheel of Fortune is just a reminder that life is unpredictable um, and the luck is ever changing. So that's just something I feel like your person is just aware of. They're definitely like expecting the unexpected. They know that life is always flowing and there are big changes on the way always. Um, especially now, they kind of feel like there's something big happening, something big changing here. And they feel like they might even like have a new opportunity being available to them. You know, they definitely feel like their life can change in any instant. And they're currently like really just living in the moment, living in the moment, living in this happiness, living in this energy of like suspending everything about their life and just being in the moment with the hanged man. And that gives them so much happiness. So, so much like good feeling emotions as well. Um, what else? Yeah, like this person's feeling very inspired by you, very drawn to you. There's passion here. There's lust here. There's inspiration here. There's a sense of power here as well. They feel a lot of power that exists in your relationship. Um, a lot of potential that exists within this connection as well. Um, yeah, they want to pursue creative projects here. They feel like the potential of this connection, potential existing between the two of you actually is, is like unlimited, right? So there's so much available to the two of you that you can tap into, that you can create, that you can see, that you can explore. So there's like this feeling of like seeing so many opportunities available for the two of you. Okay, so again, with the hanged man energy, there's this like feeling of... um just relaxing, letting things go. Um, like any setbacks are like opportunities for growth, as we said here. Um, yeah, like they're just gaining new perspectives, just open to things. There's a great deal of like openness to the world here with the hanged man. It's almost like the, the child, you know, when they are born and they're just like brimming with curiosity and with like these big eyes looking out into the world filled with possibilities. It's that type of energy here with the hanged man. Um, so that's how they're feeling. Um, they definitely feel almost like hypnotized by you. So I feel like your person feels like your energy is hypnotizing. It's very attractive. It's very sexy. It's very hypnotizing. It's very magnetic. They can't help but like be drawn to you, be hypnotized by you, by your presence. They just feel so good around you and they just feel like they could stare at you forever. Um, yeah. And they want something more to happen, of course, with the magician here. And this person might even want to smooth talk themselves into more, into more potential with you, you know, like having something more with you. 
Um, they definitely are feeling very creative, unstoppable, and ready to conjure up their wildest dreams right now. Like this person, they're not holding themselves back. They're trusting in the flow of the universe. They're trusting in creative impulses. They're trusting in seizing the moment and in the potential. And they're putting their powers, their intensity, their intensity of manifestation into work here. Like they really want to create something great and something that they really is going to that is going to really be fulfilling for them as well here so it's very like flowy very passionate very intense direction directive type of energy here the seven of cups it's all about um dreaming being also a powerful ally a powerful act of manifestation so they're letting yourself dream they're letting themselves dream that they also like want you to dream a little more what adventures do you want to go on with this person what do you want them to do what do, where do you want them to take you i feel like this person wants to dream big in this connection right now like they're so full of positivity and optimism just like this intense passionate flow and action and energy like there's so much of that here um yeah this person's like like just let's live our lives you know let's visualize our happily ever after and they then take the steps to bring that vision to life or bring that vision to reality and they're all for it so i just want to bring out a couple more cards just to like quickly clarify some things here so clarifying the two of coins there please for that that inquisitive energy the three of pentacles yeah like they want to more learn more about you through some type of teamwork some type of connection through work even if you guys work together with each other um this person wants to let go of any difficulty any sense of loss or regret but the five of pentacles like it's it's something that might have happened to them in the past that has really held them back and also like them thinking about themselves in terms of I don't have enough, I, I like this, or a sense of isolation, insecurity, worry, financial loss, or poverty. They want to let that go and leave that on the side. They don't want any negative emotions to be impacting them and their groove anymore. It's, it's like this with the sun energy. It's like the emperor's new groove type of energy, you know. Or your person like powerfully feels like I want to maintain my own groove here. I want to feel good. And that's what I'm after. And they're not letting anyone mess with their groove right now. You know, anybody who messes with their groove or kills their groove is going to get like thrown out of, out of the castle. So we have the page of cups here as well. There's a sense of creativity here. Trust, again, deep trust in the universe. Deep trust in the universe having their back. Um, yeah, just a sense of acceptance of the situation, allowing themselves to dream big feeling deeply is welcome like feeling intensely feeling deeply it's all deeply welcome right now let's see what else with the wheel of fortune okay Whoop. okay so we have this one we have the chariot yeah like they want to move forward follow their intuition and like they know that that is their destiny they have this deep trust in that the ace of wands please spirit I just feel like this energy is very much up to key. This person is learning to trust their intuition and like follow that, follow the flow, follow their intuition, follow their intuitive insights, follow their dreams. Like, yeah, they're just trusting themselves very deeply here. They want to nourish this connection. They want to bring about a sense of love, care, um, like nourishment to you. They want to protect you and they want to make you feel good. Um, with the queen of cups here this person is feeling compassion emotional security towards you they want to also cultivate create more of an emotional security within the connection they feel a sense of strong strong generosity so they want to be very giving they want maybe to give you gifts even they also feel a lot of self-love and self-care here they feel comfortable in their own skin and they feel love cherishment like they cherish you they cherish themselves and nurturing energy here yeah also there's a sense of healing energy here like they want to heal themselves so they can be the change they want to see in the world and so their compassion can also like work as an inspiration towards others so yeah that's that's just the vibe your person's in very high 
very elated, very like joyful, very playful. Let's see what else wants to show up here. We have past love in the past, past lover. This person is a lover from the past here. Um, if it's not an ex, it's just a past lover from a past life. You have already had a relationship with this person before. Uh, we also have the ice king here. So some of you or one of you could be being could be in a more of a detached energy right now, you know. Um, one of you could also like have a lot going on or both of you could have a lot going on with this boss entrepreneur type of energy. There's this energy of maybe like some attachment currently at play that wants to shift or that your person really wants to shift or act against. Let's see what else. We have karma. So there might be some type of karma or a karmic a resolution that needs to unfold here between the two of you. I feel like it is potentially connected to the past lives that you guys have shared together. Um, there's just some type of resolution that is seeking to, to just flow and come into harmony again here. So let's see what else. Yeah, this is destiny. You guys, this is destiny. This person's your destiny. You are their destiny. You are interlinked, um, interconnected, interwoven, um, like synchronistically, you are going to be drawn together. There are things that you're meant to do, meant to be together. And we have the mature man energy. So one of you could be more mature than the other person, or, you know, you there could be like age differences here. Um, there could be an element here of, again, like someone being a mature man, maybe you are a mature man, maybe your person is a mature man or just a mature person um, right now, or just someone who's more mature in age overall. So yeah, just take that as it resonates. If it doesn't, it's not meant for you and just you can let it go. Um, yeah, but there's a lot going on here from past life energies, especially for the two of you. But right now, I do feel like you guys are meant to just flow in harmony and happiness and playfulness and see what that brings, how that shifts, how that changes your destiny. Some of you are also meant to do something together, to work on some type of project together, to do something for society, for humanity together, you know, um, to bring about some type of improvement together, whether that is on an energetic, just purely vibrational level by just sharing joy, peace, creativity, serenity, or by actually like creating something in the physical world together with each other or both, right? Also, this mature man energy, it has that same inquisitive energy that we started off with, with this, like they both carry like a similar type of vibe to them, like this sense of, ooh, who are you? I want to know more about you. You seem very interesting, you know, like this very contained sense of, like a charming man wanting to know more about you type of vibe. Okay, so yeah, that might resonate for some of you, of course. Like if it if it does, it's for you. If it doesn't, just let it go. Let's see what's the guidance for you guys now for group number three. What's the guidance here? Let's take three cards. We have the B. So focus on bettering yourself, working hard and like being there for your community as well. Spread heart healing with joy, group number one. That's what you're guided to do right now. So let's see what else. Work for the community and for yourself as well. Um, we have Lama energy, set clear boundaries and enforce them. If you need to enforce some clear boundaries in your like life in general, in your private life or with this person, Make sure to be aware of your boundaries, first of all, to like be clear on what your boundaries are. If you're not, do some soul searching around that right now and then enforce them if they are crossed with your person. And we have the bat. See through illusion into or onto the truth. Try to look past past what is on the surface level of this connection, right? So try to look past what you guys do for a living, your physical status, your physical uh, uh, like attributes, your appearance, your ages or your work status or whoever you are. Try to look past that 
on to the truth of this connection. So what is the core of this relationship? Try to look at that, right? And to have that as your focus. Yeah, because there feels like there may be circumstances here that are like messing with you a little bit and messing you seeing the truth of this connection, which is love, peace, inspiration, creativity, and a very strong, expansive energy, right? Um, and a lot of joy and healing, heart healing, especially that's a part of this. So, and also like setting clear boundaries as a part of this as well. So try to see the relationship for what it truly is vibrationally speaking not just like the the details the little things that are attached to it from society such as oh you have green eyes oh you're this age and that oh you do this for a living oh you work together you know whatever it is those are just examples or you know for example oh you come from two religious backgrounds oh you know you live at such a strong distance from each other whatever it is you know just try to not let that impact the the truth of your relationship, what it truly is. Okay. So thank you for tuning in, my darlings. Thank you for vibing with me. If you want to get a personal tarot reading, you can check out the Etsy shop or contact me through my email. It's listed down below. In terms of signs, we have Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Jupiter energy there. Uh, emotional energy also with the, like, uh, with the hanged man, there's a watery energy there. What else? Yeah, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and we have Cancer again with the Chariot and with the High Priestess Pisces. So very watery vibe here also. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Also water here, sharing your energy. I love you all so, so very much. Thank you for connecting. Thank you for sharing. And thank you for trusting me with your vibes, with your situations and with your energies. I deeply appreciate being a part of this all with you and just like sharing my own part, my own perspective of the story and the guides' perspective of the stories as well. So all my love and blessings to all of you, to your guides, to your loved ones. Thank you for connecting. Thank you for liking, for subscribing, and for commenting down below and sharing your thoughts and being a part of this community. I will see you all soon in the next video. Hope you guys are well and yeah, happy Sunday or the rest of the Sunday. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Namaste.